Uh, I'm here today to talk about a case that I had because I made an artwork called Simple Living. It's a drawing of a small Dafurian child holding a designer bag and a small dog in a pink outfit. Uh, it was an artwork I made to try to raise awareness about the situation in Dafur while pointing out some of the tools that I used to get media attention in the West. So it was sort of an experiment. And then Louis Vuitton sued me because of the bag in the drawing uh, and that case got a lot of attention. From the first drawing that that later developed into a painting till I actually uh, won the case. It took three years. So I think it's super important for all the different artists who have somehow met censorship in any kind of shape or form to team up and unite and also show that, um, that we stand together and we're not going to back down. Um, I mean, I faced some financial threats and it was stressful. It was very stressful, but some of the people that I met here today, they faced completely like much more severe uh, threats in their lives. And still they continue to work on. When you line up all these stories next to each other, people can really see that, that the censorship that, that is happening in many different countries in the world is happening right now. Um, it's important to, to hear about all these different cases. And I think, especially for the audience today, they get a feeling of, of how important it is that the artists should, uh, should remain free to express themselves. Well, my message would be to continue to to believe in the art and not let yourself dictate by any sort of authority, whether it's a, a government or a, a large corporation or whatever, because I can feel just from my own case, uh, it really matters to a lot of people. When I chose to take this battle and I won the case, um, even though, as I said before, I know I didn't risk the same as some people do, um, so many artists all over the world, they reached out to me after and they said, wow, thank you so much for fighting this. Now we also feel like we want a little bit of freedom back to express ourselves.